In this video, I want to show you how to use the gradient tool. And in the last video, I showed you how to use the eyedropper, which I took some of the blue from the sky and some of the uh, yellow from the sky as well. So what I'd like to do is to add a gradient. And so what you want to do is make sure that um, you find it first. Uh, sometimes it'll look like the paint bucket tool or it says 3D material drop tool. Don't worry about that so much. Um, but Go ahead and select your gradient tool. So anywhere, any layer that I'm selected on will allow me to put a gradient. But notice that it just covered up my pipe picture, which is not what I want to do. So if you run into that issue, Control Z is going to be your friend because it's going to allow you to undo things right away. Your history tool is also going to be very helpful because here you are going to be able to step backwards. The only difference is if you want to step all the way back here, then you're going you're gonna to have to start all over. So that's kind of a quick way to step backwards, but then you can always go way back if you need to. So what I'd like to do is to put my gradient in the background. So I'm going to select the background layer because that's the layer that I want it on. And the gradient will go in whatever direction that I move my tool. So here, if I move it on an angle, it's going to kind of go on an angle. I'll show you that a little bit clearer by clicking the eyeball here. And so if I draw my line as a diagonal, notice the gradient kind of goes in whatever direction that I draw this line in. I can make it nice and short. I can make it um, longer. And notice that the blue kind of takes up a little bit more. So now I want it to align with my kite picture. So what I'm going to do is from the top to the bottom about where the picture, how the picture naturally creates a gradient, I'm going to pull that down, maybe go a little bit longer. All right, and just match it as best as I can. And there we go. That's about it. 